Hello, in this video I'm going to show you some of the more popular tools of the sysadmin, the event entry sysadmin tools, and how to compare with uh, using the native tools that ship with uh, various versions of Windows Server. So let's start with our ping utility. It's uh, much faster than the ping utility in Windows. Uh, first nice thing about it is you don't have to specify the full IP address if you're in the same subnet, which I am. My IP address is 4.60, so simply type fping2 or I think 60, which is the local host, are uh, really nice. In addition to monitoring a uh, pinging a uh, P address, you can also ping and check whether a TCP port is open. So in this case, TCP port 80 is open. Simply append the number. If the port is not open, uh, you get a message saying that the port is not open. Another nice thing is uptime. Sometimes you want to know, well, how long has this host been up? A month, three months, a year? This information is a little bit difficult to get uh, convoluted to get on Windows, but with the sysadmin tool, simply type up time, and there it is, 18 hours and 39 minutes. Or, if you have the latest version with the events and tray utility, just hover over the icon there. And talking about events and tray utility, um, simply double-click the utility, and you'll get a system information dialog. That shows you performance stats about CPU, memory, disk queue length, how busy is a disk, um, how, busy, uh, how full is your hard drive, and hovering over these gives additional information about the processors, how much memory is installed, you know, which disks are installed, and so forth. Gives you the top processes right there in terms of memory CPU utilization, which I, what, what your IP address is, including the speed with which it's connected to the switch. Really useful for physical machines, especially if something is accidentally, for example, connected to a 100 megabit switch, for example. Shows you whether the host needs a reboot and shows you who else is currently logged on to that system, all at a glance. So that's really, really neat. And talking about performance, uh, the sysadmin tools also include a perf query utility. Uh, by default, it will show you just the CPU utilization, but you can specify any other performance counter in Windows as well. For example, memory available M bytes. Close. All right. So it shows you how, much, how many megabytes are available. Again, any performance counter works. We noticed earlier that 87% of the C drive is full. So where is all this space going? Where we, what's uh, hogging our disk space? Well, we have a data hog utility. You simply run that, it scans the C drive, and you can specify subfolders too if you don't want to scan the whole drive. And within a few seconds, um, you can see here it took five seconds. It shows you, okay, what are the top directories in size? So here we have a bunch of events and installers, and what are the top files? So this is not a substitute for some of the uh, more detailed disk space uh, you know, analysis utilities, but if you're just in a bind and you just want to quickly see, hey, you know, is there something I can free up real quick, this will do the job. And that output is included by default in event entries disk space monitoring as well. Another common thing is network traffic monitoring, right? Sometimes we want to know, is my host sending or receiving data from a specific host? And of course, Wireshark is a great utility, um, but sometimes it's overkill. Sometimes you really just want to quickly see, hey, is something going to or from an IP address? So options here, um, make sure we're monitoring the correct interface. We only have one, and simply click Start, and immediately we can see all the traffic grouped by host name, of course, that's going in and out of this interface. If we uncheck it, we only see UDP, for example. So yeah, so let's say we want to know, hey, is syslog traffic coming into this host? And yeah, it uh, looks like there is 514, and now we only see syslog. Eight packets have been received from the firewall, right? Oh, is there traffic going to port TCP 80? Uh, nope, there is not. Port 443, maybe? No, there's not either. So this is a really convenient and quick way to see hey, who's sending and receiving data? And if you uncheck everything, you see in the big picture here, you have a great overview right there uh, as to what's going on, in, on on that computer in terms of network traffic. Of course, if you need to get more additional information, inspect packets, Wireshark is the way to go. But for quick troubleshooting, uh, this is a great and easy tool. I hope you like what you saw um, and you see the benefit uh, of using those tools. This is admin tools uh, available on eventcenter.com. 
They're completely free, and I've only shown you uh, less than half a dozen of the utilities uh, that we have. There's actually over 30 free utilities in the sysadmin tool, so please download them and take a look. Thank you.